In, in the month of October, many things, uh, many, many organizations such as mine uh, organize activities around breast cancer. But I believe we should have more towards the year from January talking about breast cancer, not just in the month of October, because those ladies who have uh, breast cancer don't just you know, feel about it in the month of October. Remind women that they should go and have the, the annual checkup, for example. Uh, I've seen many women with breast cancer. I actually have two, two dear friends of mine who have breast cancer here in Houston. The first thing that comes is the fear, the fear of dying and also change of purpose. And the purpose is become, is, becomes more important in, in, those, uh, in those people's life. Um, I almost felt the sky is going to fall because I didn't know what was going to happen to me and to my family and you know, I was so worried. Slowly but surely, my doctors and my family and my colleagues made sure that I would get back to my routine life. And you know, here I am in front of you all. I've stopped taking every day for granted. I've put on a lot of weight, which kind of goes with the medication, but um, I try and be healthy. I lift weights, try and work out. Um. I'm doing this interview today because breast cancer is really a, a topic that is dear to my heart and my purpose is to really make sure every woman have information or those who are sick have the cure as well. I'm actually the president of Run for a Cure Africa Cameroon. Run for a Cure Africa Cameroon is a non-profit organization that has been fighting breast cancer in Cameroon for more than 12 years. As soon as you hear the word cancer, you know, you, uh, you worry so much you, what would be the quality of your life. So my advice to you all is don't jump to conclusions. I know you panic, but please do not panic until you go and you meet your physician and they clearly give you a picture. I was petrified. I cried a lot, but my husband, who's my pillar of support, supported me so much. I believe the thing we can tell them is to have faith. And we sat down in front of physician and he explained that, you know, we could always um, cure it. And also he gave me a better plan to follow, a healthy plan to follow so that it will not occur again, keeping fingers crossed. To, to be hopeful, and uh, today's science is evolved a lot, so Many women, as I just mentioned, I have two friends, they're cancer free now. Uh, many women are having a cure and the, 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 the goal is really to have a 100% you know, uh, cancer free women. Um, well, it makes me pretty tired, uh, but I'm in survivor mode right now. So I have to take some medication that still makes me tired. I was fortunate that I didn't lose my hair, um, but it was, it was stressful and it was tired. After I have encountered with um, the breast cancer, I am following a very healthy lifestyle. And also school keeps me super active and I love my students and that positivity also helps me, you know, to maintain good health. There is hope, there is cure, and uh, we just have to keep pushing uh, women to get their mammogram, uh, check up a uh, yearly mammogram, and if they have a diagnostic, they can get cured, which is good for, for the US, for example. It's not always the case in other countries. I told you, right? I mean, I thought, you know, my life has ended, and uh, it a reel in front of me rotated. I thought about my parents, my son, my husband, also about my kids because that was the last day of school when I got to know about my biopsy. But I went um, to the hospital in summer and I got my surgery done and my radiation done and I was in good hands and God is great. I'm here in front of you all smiling and ready to teach more math. This is Mrs. Joy, always joyful. Um. I don't think I've changed as a person, but I think I've realized that life is too short and that you need to do what you love and focus on the things that matter most to you.